name is Jill Gay Steinball Moser. And what have you brought to the harvest today? I brought some pictures of my grandparents. Some of them are uh, maybe close to 100 years old, and well, a couple of them, and uh, some of them are maybe 50 years old. <laughs> so why did you decide to bring these items to the harvest today? Well, because I have a story to tell about my grandfather. He, he was a character. <laughs> he, actually, he lived to be 100 years old. Wow. I'm going to, too. I'm 69. Wow. Yeah. So I only have 31 more years to go. <laughs> <laughs> but he made a big mistake, though. He, he always said, I want to live to be 100. And he, um, his birthday was in March, and he passed away in July. So, and I, so I'm thinking, you don't want to do that. Don't ever say, I only want to live to be X years. Say, I think I want to live to be 120. <laughs> <laughs> so, and who knows, you might be able to. Yeah. That might be the, the norm when you get older. Okay, this is the story. He, he was born in Pottsgrove, and uh, he, I, I'm thinking, I'm not 100% clear on all the minute details, but I think he said, because he told me this story, and he said that he had, um, that he worked at a garage out there, and so this was, he didn't get married till 1916, so this would have had to be before. And it was, I'm not sure what kind of a, maybe it was even a blacksmith shop or something. But anyhow, he, he worked there and he would get paid and he had a quarter. And so he would take, on Saturday night, he'd take this quarter and get in his horse and buggy and he'd come to Milton. Mm -hmm. And we had a theater here called the Legionnaire and it played silent movies. So he would go to the Legionnaire, and for a dime, he got into the movies. And for a nickel, he got a bag of roasted peanuts. I think he might have bought those out on the street somewhere and took them into the theater, which you can't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> but anyhow, so he would go in, eat his peanuts, watch the movie, and then afterwards he'd go to the ice cream shop and he'd get a sundae for the other dime. And then he'd go home. And this one night he was going home and this guy came up beside him in his horse and buggy and Pappy, I don't think he really liked him all that well, this guy, but he, uh, they started racing. And they're going down the road racing, and Pappy got a little bit ahead of his horse, and he stuck his buggy whip out in front of the horse's nose, and the horse wouldn't go past the buggy whip. So Pappy ran all the way home, and he won. 